Hi, welcome students to our online course on Civil Engineering Orientation. If you're seeing me now, that means you have received my notification how to join our Google Classroom and that your parents or guardians or my supervisors are notified and can also follow what we are learning now. I suggest that you share to your classmates, those who are not yet here in our Moodle classroom, how to join us, okay? As you can see, we are not on live streaming. We are asynchronous, meaning hindi po tayo live. So, all you need is five minutes every week to get a Wi-Fi signal, log on to our Moodle classroom, read carefully the instructions, download your weekly learning guide, and learning videos, and importantly, how to take your weekly quiz or learning assessments, and how to submit it to me here in our Moodle classroom. So let's begin our first lesson, introduction. I am Professor Engineer Red Valencia, a member of the Faculty of the College of Engineering at this University of Rizal System. I invite you to join me for our 32 sessions in this online learning course. As I employ effective teaching and learning activities from my PhD program in educational leadership and management, and also from my 40 years of work as a professional or licensed civil engineer, and also a licensed sanitary and environmental engineer, and a practitioner of transport engineering and urban planning, as well as a practicing municipal water supply engineer. And from my graduate diploma in civil engineering studies at VUB in Brussels, Belgium. Our course, Civil Engineering Orientation, is an introduction type subject or course to prepare you properly towards the various tracks of the specialization of our civil engineering with emphasis on ethics, responsibility, and professionalism. So let's begin by opening the materials I included among your weekly learning guide or handouts. You can pause this video if you don't have it. Click resume video if you already have your weekly learning guide, okay? Now open your learning guide to the program outcomes. So in this course, we shall address particularly the three of the 13 outcomes of the BS Civil Engineering Program, namely number six, eight, and 10. Number six is that you understand the professional and ethical responsibility. Program outcomes number eight is that you are capable of mitigating impacts of civil engineering solutions in a global, economic, environmental, and sociocultural context. Program outcomes number 10 is that you are capable of catching up or getting updated on contemporary issues. So, how are we going to do that? By the way, you will have a short quiz after this video. It is an electronic form you will fill in of what you learned in today's session. If you fail, please take the quiz again. And if and only if you get 100% of the right answers, will you submit it to me here in our Moodle classroom? Meaning, you can always rewind and watch again this video and all other learning videos if you missed something or did not understand something. Concentrate. Take your time. As you can submit your Moodle assignment forms next week when you again download next week's learning guide and learning videos. So again, how are we going to achieve the three program outcomes? Four ways. How many? Four. We call it the force outcomes. Meaning, in this course, I am making it my job to equip, enable, and engage you to be capable of four things. Number one, perform excellent service according to the tradition and history of our civil engineering profession. Number two, practice quality customer relations with clients and the society at large. Number three, pursue personal development career path consistent with the trends in fast-changing technology. And number four, 
contribute to best practices in civil engineering and its relationship to environmental science. Okay, you can pause this video to master and comprehend the four outcomes of this course. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, now, can we resume? You can rewind this again. So in other sessions as well as this, you can rewind this video again. So you can pass the quiz after its video to show me that you remember, understand, and comprehend what you're learning. Then today, it's about the four desired student outcomes of this subject. Let me now explain to you how you can be successful in achieving the intended outcomes of this course. You can read in your learning guide what I am showing you in the video. Here are the minimum course requirements as indicated by CHED memo number 92 issued in 2017 in terms of lesson topic. I took my BS Civil Engineering for five years. Your new curriculum now is only four years, meaning that you require advanced math and science subjects in senior high, not here in college, in grade 11 and 12. In our new curriculum in this course, I will help you apply those advanced math, geometry, algebra, trigo, chemistry, physics, and research methods in our lessons by practicing you to apply them using your cell phones, using Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and GPS. Number one, history of civil engineering. Number two, civil engineering and society and other professions. Number three, current fields or careers in civil engineering. And they are six, structural engineering, designing buildings, bridges, and infrastructure, construction engineering and management, project monitoring, evaluation per CPM, geotechnical engineering, studying the soil and underground for the stability of structures, water source engineering, working in MWSS, Manila Water, or in municipal irrigation and flood control. Transportation engineering, the design and management of traffic, highways and rail, public infrastructure. Environmental and energy engineering, the design and operation of renewable power and mitigating measures for pollution and climate change. Number four, sustainability and future of civil engineering, and lastly, number five, environmental science and its relationship with civil engineering. You can always read from the learning guide how I divided the course into 32 daily learning modules or sessions. Let me show you the list. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we will have Moodle Classroom. Pwede maski offline. Online lang sandali kung magsasubmit ng assignments or quiz or magda-download ng learning videos at e-files. Listen to me. Choosing the BS Civil Engineering Program in higher education means you are already becoming adults or of legal age of 18 years old. Say to yourself, I am not a child anymore. I am not a child anymore. Very good. So here in our Moodle classroom, you have decided to allow me to equip, enable, and engage you with both the professional skills and computer tools for civil engineering practice. Professional skills, yes. If no, there's test up for civil engineering technical skills to get an NC2 competency certification and get a job next month. Yes, next month, not four years from now. Going back to what I am saying as your professor, I want to inspire you to follow me beginning today. So you are becoming capable of using current technology, using your Android cell phones and home computer. What I am telling you now is you will use your Android cell phones and free applications like Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. 
including Global Positioning System or GPS here. They are free and we will use these free apps and you will submit electronic file as required student outputs in this course. Note these important three things. Number one, if you are not able to use Android cell phone or computer or laptop and internet, still you can pass this course. But I encourage you to look for ways to use recommended tools to begin applying, mastering, and becoming skilled for your professional work right on day one after you step out of this university with a BS Civil Engineering Diploma. Actually, after this course, you can begin online jobs. Number two, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and GPS Essentials are free and available for download in your Android phone or laptop or computers. I advise you to already install them in your cell phones at least because we will use them in each of the 32 learning modules from August 24 to December 2020. And number three, for those who don't have money to buy one day load for your Android phone, that means you cannot even afford to ride the tricycle or jeepney to come to school, maski face to face, because the course requirement is actually cheaper than commuting to school. Okay? So if you don't own or cannot borrow for this course, an Android cell phone at least, you can try following the printed learning guide from your classmates and perform the required student activities using pen and paper and submit your quizzes on schedule together with the rest in this class. So here, how will I grade you? The grading system, so class standing is 60% and long examination is 40%, so 60-40. And the 60 is divided into required student activity outputs, 30%, learning assessment, quizzes, 25%, and attendance and behavior, 5%. So if you miss out the required student outputs or learning assessment quizzes and you're not able to submit together with the rest, you can hardly pass this course. So please be diligent to do your required student output and learning assessment. And then the total grade of the 60% class standing and 40% long examination for prelims, midterms, and finals. Final grade is the average of all these three terms. Let me close by inviting you to completely read the rest of the learning guide and videos for session one. Here's the schedule of our Google Classroom sessions from week one of August 24, 2020 to week 18 in December 2020. So you can open your learning guide or handouts and learning videos for your module one. Use your Android cell phone or computer, word processing, and write at least 100 words each. Letter A, what do I want to become after completing my four-year BS Civil Engineering program? Letter B, 100 words. What will I begin to change in my personal character and daily schedule so that I will not fail in becoming what I want to become? And for the third, using your Excel spreadsheet, Make a table of daily and weekly schedule, how to spend your free time after Google Classroom on these online learning sessions for this semester. See you next week.